say you wanna get him. Welcome to Yellow Brick Road, I'm Jordan, this is James, and today we're going to talk about the life troll, Jacob Wall. But first, please consider donating to Devon's Journey to Recovery, the link is in the description box, and the website's in the intro to this video, and our past videos, with Metric playing. It's a Metric Handshakes, great song. You know, buy this car to drive to work, drive to work to pay for this car. Exact quote. So yeah, please consider donating. Any amount will help. Link in the description box. Devin's journey to recovery. Okay, so I opened up Twitter and I saw this was trending. Jacob Wall. I'm like, okay, what's he doing now? What fake press conference does he have going on now? Because we did do a live reaction to a... He said he had a a uh, victim of yeah. Robert Mueller. Mm. He uh, raped her, blatantly raped her. Mm according to uh, their uh, accusation. Oh. Yeah, according to the to the lady that we have no idea if she exists or not. According to her accusation, Robert Mueller actually raped her. That turned out to be a shit show because no witness showed up. It wasn't even as bad as the, uh, the Seth Rich witness guy. At least that guy called in and said something, even oh. though we still didn't. <laughs> It's bad because... If anyone has a problem, he lives at 34 Evergreen Forest. No, it's... <laughs> Trust me, I stayed with him, and he lives at 125. Like, <laughs> it's like, what? It's like, fuck. What are you doing? It's like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Like, don't tell them where... Like, where am I... I'm expecting, like, a bomb the next day. It's like, well, that guy was already shot before. You need to give out his address. His and mom's house. Jack Berkman or whatever his name is. Yeah, or something. It's like, yeah. uh, this guy was shot already before, you know. Maybe she would, uh... Can Keep you imagine? Quiet. It's like, yeah, this guy protected me, and we live in a, in like in a enclosed, uh, what do you call it, in a secret area, and that area is down the road. Take a <laughs> sharp left. Keep going until you see a sign that says, you know what I mean? <laughs> Drive slow. There's a deer crossing about 10 paces ahead of that. There's a, there's a lake, and it's full of alligators. You're going to see that. Remember, that's a checkpoint in a way. So keep going. All right. So, yeah, the point of that was this guy has done some little setup things. You'll see one tree stump. Which is why I called him a life troll. Uh, He even looks like an asshole. No offense. I'm not not going to say that. No offense to anyone that looks like him. But he looks like an asshole. (laughs) Maybe that was the picture they picked up. So we have an article from BuzzFeed because... um, Jacob Wall has been permanently banned from Twitter. And even though I wouldn't I would not say rightfully so because I don't think anyone should be banned. But at the same time, this guy was creating fake accounts and using it to propel a message or to flag mm. probably to mass flag people too. I wonder who else did that. Yeah. Apparently Russia did that. Mm. Believe the Russian propaganda. So, here we have BuzzFeed's article. I don't even need to read that much of it. It'll just lay out what the fuck's happening here. Now, let me go a little bit further. Okay. Twitter banned notorious Trump supporter Jacob Wall from its platform on Tuesday, alleging that Wall broke the site's rules against creating fake accounts. Wall's ban came hours before he boasted in a USA Today interview about his plans to create fake accounts on Twitter and Facebook, which he said would be used to manipulate the 2020 election. The account was suspended for multiple violations of Twitter's rules, uh, specifically creating and operating fake accounts, a Twitter spokesperson told the Daily Beast. I wish they did that for Alex Jones, too. But that's another... Whole nother thing. So this guy has been creating fake accounts, bragging about making fake accounts, and using it to propel Donald Trump. 
And here's an interesting thing. Uh, so here's an idea that I brought up mm. uh, before. I brought it up about Ben Shapiro. Listen to this. Wall had already created several fake accounts before he was banned, according to a source. According to a source familiar with Wall's activities on Twitter, Wall told USA Today that he intended to use accounts to help Trump in the 2020 election, pushing Democratic primary voters to back weaker candidates who would be easier for Trump to defeat in the general election. Now, that's an idea I brought up before about uh, Ben Shapiro talking about uh, favorites and things like that. Mm -hmm. Of course, he'll avoid names like Tulsi Gabbard, but he'll propel names like Kamala Harris. Even if he's complaining about her, he's like, this is what the Democrats have. They have Kamala Harris yeah. and Beto O'Rourke. And it's like, in a way, as he's shitting on them, he's also propelling them upwards. No, it's like, kind of like what happened with uh, Ron Paul. Uh, with Tulsi Gabbard? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he means like they ignore certain candidates. To where they're not really publicized, and what's presented to you is that they, their selection because they feel like they they, they won't last. Yeah, and most this of guy, the yeah, and most of the people that work nine to fives that aren't you know looking to dive deep into politics, mm. they just watch the news for an hour every night yeah. or something, and then they get their names of candidates. Yeah, like, they, oh, I they like don't, them. I like that. I like they don't this know person. They, they don't know that they probably po profit off of war and shit. Yeah. Let's just turn on the news. So we are blatantly lying to you. That way we can we can go go home in our penthouses where our overlords are uh, swimming in their money and blood. Thank like, God for the youth. They're actually looking into this stuff. Yeah, but it's very it's very uh, easy to see that you know a ton of them are. Uh, well, they take a lot of things at face value. They take a lot, like a Bernie Sanders. They're like, if he says these things on the surface, then, mm -hmm. you know, there can't be other, there can't be bad things about him. Uh, but there could easily, there easily could be. What I mean is a group of people were like, basically tripped and tricked into thinking, into becoming Republicans. Oh yeah, 100%. That's what I mean. It's like, well, he's, he's, he's anti-establishment. Like, no, he's not. He's against the corrupt. No, he's not. Let's put on this hat. I'm like, you're one of them now. <laughs> Look at you waving the red flag. Look at that. Yeah. Look at that. Like, fuck. Yeah, I have this. That was fucking like, what's the word? That was sneaky. Yeah. I have this conspiracy theory always in the back of my head when it comes to politics to where it's almost like the team mentality is created by a third source and it's being propped up. You take the SJWs, right? They were things that were propped up, it seems like. Mm -hmm. And as a result, they have a counter argument to that, which is also being propped oh, up. Oh, sure. And now, the third party can just step out of the way and watch uh, you prop each if, other up. If pro wrestling has taught me anything, it's the, the value of jobbers. Yeah. Or, or you know, jobbing. Yeah. Like, li li listen, listen, Triple H. John Cena's our new guy. You're going to lose to him. It's like, what? Yeah. Trust me, they're going to love him. You're gonna be the bad guy. Before, Actually, yeah. Before that, Billy uh, Big Belly is gonna fight him, and he's gonna lose after one move. Actually, I believe uh, Chris Hedges wrote wrote a book uh, speaking specifically about wrestling and how it relates to society, like the narrative, the narratives in wrestling and in society. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't actually know what's in it. I never read it. What? I just know he did that. Oh. That's, that's Read a book, bro. State the facts. Feed me. Give me the right answers. That's that's the response I. Where's your doctorate, bro? Where is it? That's the response I. Did you win a Nobel I Prize? Expect. Did you? <laughs> you didn't. Did you win a Nobel Peace Prize while bombing people? No, you didn't. So shut up. So it's like, as I've said, always keep an eye out for these guys. For these. Uh, you want to call them cult of personality types, those type of people. Like who? Like the Shapiros. He's not. Yeah, he is. Mm -hmm. Yes, he is. Mm -hmm. He is. You throw like 
maybe not like almost all the names at CNN. You throw CNN as like a a name on itself, like it's it's its own person. Back in the day, you could do that with Fox. It's well, like I, a cult of personality I, I type it, of thing. I viewed it more as like the 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 guy, yeah, in a on a team. While Shapiro is like an underling, basically. He's a brand on his own. No. He works for someone. But he's still a brand on I his know, own. I know, but still. It's like, uh, hey man, you have a team. Who's that guy? Even though that guy himself is working under a group of people probably, too. It's still, that's still a cult of personality. It's, he's the personality. I got you. Who's out there. Just like uh, Bill O'Reilly, right? I know, I know. He works under Fox, yeah. but yeah. Bill fucking O'Reilly. Yeah. So uh, this is why I always say watch out for these types of people. And even us, if we became super popular, please pay attention to us and call us out on shit. Don't blindly follow us. Oh, I made that clear. I don't want any fans. If we, I hate that. If we put down someone or prop someone up, please fucking question us and hold our feet to the fire as far as answering for it. Because usually oh, yeah. I'll say something and there's a reason for it. I remember when we did a video on a... Oh my god, dude. I remember we did a video on a Casio cortez Yeah. Like, who is she? Now it's like, oh, fuck her. And what Maybe. I mean by that is... <laughs> He, he's the leaper. Uh, uh. Whatever. What I mean by that is it's not good enough. Not yet. Like, yeah. I'm, not, I'm not hearing exactly you know what, what I want as far as a uh, someone that's immovable. He's a little more black and white. I am too, but I also look at the gray too. <laughs> he's a little more you're in or you're not. That's it. I'm waiting. Hmm? I'm waiting. What? I'm waiting for them. Yeah. She ain't here. I'm just saying, I understand they could still be, you know, innocent. Oh, sure. Ignorant children. I'm not saying that. But I mean, like, oh, like. Well, yeah, that's the problem. You don't say that. <laughs> you don't say it enough, at least. You just go right to fuck her. Yeah. <laughs> uh, ah, whatever. Hey. Whatever. If I if I if I hear someone call, yeah, he's a dictator. Uh, are you like pandering, even in the slightest amount? That's Tulsi. Yeah. Then it's like, all right. Real quick, we're gonna jump over to. And Bernie too. Assad must go. Like what? Yeah. The fuck did you just say? What do you mean by this? Everyone should aim for the the people in these positions should be the moral champions of their society. Or try to as do far it. As, well, that's what I mean. As, as far as aim towards that that idea, and anything less should not be acceptable. That means no pandering. That means oh, well, I didn't know. Like well, you can you cannot know over there. Okay, over there somewhere. I'm not saying. Well, I made a mistake, you know. I say you have to be perfect. I'm saying, oh, you know, you know the difference between right and wrong. That's completely different. It's completely different. I get what you're saying, but I'm, I'm more in the category of wanting to help even the people who are viewing these politicians understand that they could be looking at it from a gray area as well. So that's why I look into the gray area. No, I want to help like, too. Oh. I just get, I get very uh, upset very quickly. It's like, oh, I want to speak your language too. So that I can communicate with you, I just rather than be like fuck them and then. Well, it's not fuck them. Forget about them. Now it's like you're ending communication almost. It's not uh, fuck them and put them in the fucking trash can. It's uh, not another one. But I get I get very upset very quickly because it at, at the same time it's like, like you guys have control of of the. Well, I mean, you guys have possible control of the outcomes of lives now. So that's why I'm like very quickly. It's like yeah, get the fuck. They should out. be, they should be scrutinized yeah. to the nth degree. Shout out to the, the guy who made the comments, Thanos. Yeah, when I saw Trump fire those, fire those missiles off of, of off of uh, no evidence of chemical weapons in Syria. Yeah, yeah. and then when I found out, um, well, there's evidence for it that someone died. Get out. Someone did die. Snap. I believe. Oh, not good. not many, but. 
re- that's not the point. Relatively, one not person. Really. Yeah, just one. Or the fact that he sold weapons to Saudi Arabia. Yeah. Like, what did you just do? Goodbye. Get out. Anything remotely, rep- anything Morning. remotely. Not even this. Even the fucking Dakota Access Pipeline. Everyone f- seems to forget about that. Or fucking like, uh, you could call him a security fucking <laughs> hose. These people. Yeah. It's like, let's see, a pipeline running through their land, and not only the match, probably they wouldn't consider it their land, you know what I'm saying? But as far as, are they the ones caring about, like, uh, the environment and whatnot? But you guys want the pipeline through there. Yeah. So instead of getting the police to get them off their land, you guys hire, uh, we're basically mercenaries. Yeah. Get them to go, and some lady breaks her arm or shoulder or whatever the fuck because of fucking hose. Yeah, the hose plus the elements it was like freezing cold oh yeah out. yeah the thing that so, just like shattered her arm yeah so oh that's enough yeah that is enough get out a vegan doesn't lift you know listen sorry just throwing a joke out there don't be offended guys probably soy boy as soon as soy that girl. as soon as that happens like yeah Thanos goodbye not dead but oh like he just appears in his room yeah. you're not the one goodbye let me help you out here in a short phrase. It should be verbal scorching of the earth, and the right person should still be standing at the end. They should just be like, <clears throat> you know, wiping dust off their clothes. All right, what's next? That's, yeah. Well, the other guy's like, <coughs> no, it's, <laughs> well, there should be like piles of dust. Yeah. It's a metaphor, ladies and gentlemen. Not not being serious. I'm not saying nuke everything. But let's move on. Representing the ideas. Let's move on to a channel of a guy I like. I think he goes too far with the... Who? Adam Green. Oh. You ruined my surprise. I think he goes too far in the... uh, he He may pay attention too much to Jewish people and what they do. The thing about him, I see someone... I didn't mean that in an anti-Semitic from, way. From I meant early... that in a Jewish people doing yeah. things. He may pay too much attention to that. He also may do the... They're trying to genocide the white people thing to where he gets mixed in with certain characters. But deep down, I think I like the guy. I think he's an all right person. He's an all right human being. I would today. hope. I see room for Just someone... Moral intention. I see someone that has room to be very, very credible. There's yeah. room for that. Sad thing is, yeah, he fucking hangs out with dudes like, uh, well, hangs out. He features guys like this instead of wrecking them. He's like, yeah, man, I like your channel. and Guys like Vincent James. Guys like that. Yeah. Well, Who I, also I, partake in the whole, like, you know, white genocide thing. Well, I think Adam Green gets so locked into the, like, Zionist and this and that shit mm. to where if people start agreeing with him, he just open arms accepts them. Like, oh, they must be all right. They agree with me. They must be all right. No. Some level. No. That's like that's like Owen Benjamin. My friend, you expect me to dig dirt up on him? I'm like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So. I expect that. So this happened a while ago. Adam Green's Twitter got suspended. That and should I, never happen. And I'll let him explain how and what happened. Fuck. That TV song. My bad. Technical difficulties. Let me rewind this a bit. Doctor. (laughs) Alright, let's try that again. Adam Green here with no more news. Uh, It's January 26, 2019. So I've just been kicked off of Twitter. I've just been blocked for Twitter for 12 hours. Um, A a couple hours ago, uh, some big Zionist Twitter accounts started uh, tweeting out defamation saying that that I'm I look just like the the arsonist at at Comet Pizza. I've never even been into to uh, Pizzagate, never done one video on it, never even taken a strong stand on it. It's absolutely ridiculous. I live on the other side of the country. I've been making videos all week. My beard is is all long right now. The photo of the guy small, but now I'm kicked off Twitter. Jacob Wall, I believe, is behind this. I, I said in the last video that Jacob Wall was behind it because I just I saw it all immediately and I saw him first thing, so I figured he had to be a part of it. 
But um, I can't even get in my Twitter right now to show everything that's going on or defend myself. I'm smeared right now on Twitter by big Zionist accounts that uh, that I'm the arson of Pizzagate when it's just absolutely ridiculous, doesn't even look like me at all. And um, so I responded. This guy Jacob Wall saying I'm the Pizzagate uh, arson. I respond. I'll show you the messages that that were uh, got me kicked off for 12 hours here to Jacob Wall. So I said, Jacob Wall. And the women that are, are uh, smearing me and framing me as an arson on purpose, this isn't an accident. They're doing this on purpose because I've exposed all their friends as Zionists. He, I say, Jacob Wool, he, he, he responded to me and said that I think he's in a, a Jewish cabal. He's, and I say, you're all proud Zionists. This is a dirty trick, you scumbag. You know that's not me. That gets me censored. Like, yeah, that gets me kicked off Twitter. Another one, Jacob Wool is behind this, you little evil scumbag. They don't have a debate. I've challenged him to a debate. They don't debate. They don't take my arguments and refute them. They don't do that. They don't have an argument. They do dirty tricks, like trying to frame me as a, uh, as a criminal. I do acknowledge that he is a savage <laughs> when it comes to this. Yeah, so you can clearly hear he gets, I think he gets too far into the Zionist and yeah, yeah. Zionist agenda and all that shit. Any towards conspiracy. But his videos are fucking entertaining as fuck. Sure, yeah. He's I think he's very good at production value. But the point of watching this was showing something that uh Jacob Wall has done to this guy. Jacob Wall is clearly a team player, whether it's Zionist or Jewish team or if it's Trump, Republican, yeah. Trump team, whatever team he's on. Yeah, he's willing to trick other people. He's basically. Willing, yeah, he's willing to trick other people. He's willing to create fake accounts to get those guys off uh, off of social media. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And wouldn't be surprised if he used his fake bots, fake channels to suspend Adam Green. Mm-hmm. And honestly, if I'm if I'm Adam Green and I read this article... I wouldn't do this, but I expect him to do this as a, you know, you know, just a typical social person. He's going to call up a lawyer and say, you basically took business away by getting me suspended. Mm-hmm. You use this f- fake people army to do this. He had, I think he has grounds for suing Jacob Wall. Uh, I bet other people do too. Imagine just like, I'm going to sue you, dude, like me. I'm like, what do you want? Are you sir? <laughs> All right, now do it. <laughs> Can you cry a little bit? Give him a dance. I got some hot sauce. Give him a dance. Looks at the judge. Like, dance, bitch. I got some hot, hot sauce. sauce. <laughs> Rub it in your eye and you know, start crying a little bit. So, yeah. This guy, it's like, come on. Something's got to be off with that. When you have a guy with a... With, uh, strictly political purposes getting people kicked off and trying to prop up bad candidates on purpose and well i mean i mean it's been going on for a lot longer and it's like than you think and guys who scream anti-semitism for everything you should be scorching this fucking guy well, you should be skeptical as fuck right from the get-go you should be scorching jacob wall right now because it's just it's almost like the jesse smollett thing yeah to where it's like like oh you're faking a a hate crime type of thing. Yeah. In order to... Possibly elevate yourself. Yeah. Either elevate yourself or, in Jacob Wall's case, push other people down. Yeah. And it's gross. Yeah. So... Yeah. And, like I said, with the Jesse Smollett thing, like, yo, lock him in a room with me. We'll talk about it. And see how far his persona makes it once they start psychologically you know, breaking down someone. So, yeah, was, I threw the Adam Green thing in there because it's interesting. It happened a little bit ago, and it's like, this is just validating Adam Green now. I suspect, if he hasn't already, I suspect the video's coming to where he's going to mention, he's like, I'm going to bring a lawsuit up against this guy. He's probably making one right now. Yeah, he's probably making one right now. Mm. Either that or he probably went live. I don't know. Either way, that's it from us. Uh, thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you feel like. Always comment. Agree, disagree, whatever. Lay a comment down. We will respond. Uh, 
Also, if you made it this far in the video, I want to make this clear. You guys can throw links up in any one of our videos. Hopefully, we see them because notifications have been a little slippery lately. But if you leave a comment with a link or something like that and you want us to check out the videos, please do so. I love all the comment, all the content I can get. And if you if you write next to it, like, guys, react to this, we will do a reaction of it. So, yes. In fact, I might make a separate video just talking about... Uh, video requests and we will definitely react to whatever you send us unless your name is matt hunter and you send us a eight hour video on the origins of the white man <laughs> just kidding now the origins of the judge part eight three hours long <laughs> just kidding matt you know we love you not in a gay way though that's for that's for that brazilian president that's what he does. Also, uh, please consider donating to Demonstrating to Recovery. Link in the description box. Websites at the intro to our videos. Uh, any amount will help. At the very least, click on the link and read the story. Get familiar. It's for our boy, Pyramid7, and his wife, Devin. Please help them out. Medical bills are expensive. And for some reason, we don't have free health care. We're going to get the Ten. money. We're going to get the money. <laughs> We're going to get it. Yeah. Also, uh, Bernie's probably going to win the presidency. Like, guys, imagine like the world's going to be set on fire within the next five years if we don't do something. We're going to get the money. <laughs> Where are you going to get the money? I watched Bernie's town hall last night. I watched Bernie Bernie's uh, town hall last night. Oh, did you? And it was like, oh, he's going to win by a lot. Probably. If he runs against Trump, he's going to win by a lot. Mm. And there's no no one's going to let him, let them let the DNC get away with cheating him again. No one's going to let that happen. I'd probably see a riot of yeah. some sort. Yeah. Well, you got, you know, you know, the softer type college, the meek type college kids. Well, they, so they'll, said, they'll bend together. Well, there won't I be they won't riot, riot, but think of it more as instead of pitchforks. And like torches? No, what's it called? Tiki torches. Tiki torches. Yeah, it's uh, cell phones probably. Cell phones on sticks and shit. Yeah. Fuck them. <laughs> but yeah, he's he's gonna win by a lot, I think. I don't like him. All right, that is it from us. Mm -hmm. Please give this video a thumbs down. Push that. Say you wanna get him.